Hello again, everyone. I'm here with another unboxing from Chic Sparrow. Uh, with my super inky fingers, I had a ink mishap today. I actually don't know, really know what happened. I think that uh, one of my converters actually had a crack in it and I got ink all over my fingers. But that's not that unusual. But anyway, let's get on to the unboxing. So this is Cascade Fever here <laughs> at my place. So this is another Cascade. Let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging there. Um, let me see if there's anything in here to share. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have so many of these little bird stickers. They're super cute though. Okay. I think that's it. All right, so this is one that I had been waiting for for quite some time. And it seemed like it took them forever to go ahead and come out with the Cascade in the beautiful Americano in the Tea House collection. So this is really, really pretty. It's got a lot of texture, which you, yeah, you can see a little bit. And it's obviously shiny because that is the texture of this tea house. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the outside. Let's see. So there's that. And let me get my, I have it right over here. Let me get my, uh, everything's falling off my desk. Okay, let me get my other one out, my folio. I'm not going to open this up and show you today, but I did want to kind of compare the color. So it definitely looks like this new one is darker in color than my old one. And uh, this one has a little bit more texture, I would say, like some uh, veining that you can see underneath. And this has some more speckles and that sort of thing. And I had no notes at all on this one. And with this one, I had requested as red as possible, um, whatever that meant to them. And I, I think they did, they did a good job with this one. All right, and so this is a lighter weight leather so it's going to be not floppy necessarily but it's definitely going to be softer in hand than the um, Austin collection which it's sort of similar to. Well, this is really pretty. Yeah and there's actually some beautiful little wrinkles in the pockets there um, but like I was saying I was waiting a, a long time for the Cascade pockets in the Americano because I wanted to get a B6 Slim Americano, but I didn't want to get one with the regular pockets. So I kind of was hoping that eventually they would come out with these, and they did. Um, yeah, this is interesting. It's looking pretty rustic, actually, on the pockets, which I, I really like. I'm a big fan of rustic leather. Yeah, you can really see at that angle. And I wonder if they make the pockets out of remnants just because um, of the size and given that these are a little, in a little rougher shape than the rest of the leather, but but like I said, that is not an issue for me. I really like that. And you can see some beautiful striations here. Yeah, that's super, super pretty. And I haven't had my everyday carry in it for a while, but I had the, um, oh God, what's the lighter brown color in the Tea House collection? Uh, I'm totally blanking right now, but I had my everyday carry in that other one for a long time and I really liked how pliable it was and how moldable it was around the insert. So I'm assuming that this will have sort of the same kind of feel just in a more shiny leather, but I'm really liking this one a lot. All right, just another quick video again today. <laughs> That's going to be it. I will uh, see you next time, I hope. And please subscribe so you can keep track of new things coming to my channel. And if you were uh, liking this video, give it a like. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.